this is the coolest damn thing in the world. How could I not want to be a part of it? The boom that we've seen in cigars. Yeah. Be 60, okay. I got, it. I got it right. I'm employing farmers, the third world trade that's involved here. You gotta look for the ampersand. Exactly. The elevation of people's lives. What is that next evolution or do you have it yet? And that's just the beginning of it. Bradley Rubin right here from Alec Bradley Cigars. Your father uh, who started Alec Bradley, which is named after you and, and, and your brother. Uh, so when you see the Alec and Bradley cigars, like the Blind Faith, that's that's different. That's uh, that's him and his brother who started cigars as opposed to his father, which is a Alec Bradley. You gotta look for the ampersand. Exactly. When it comes to uh, some of these issues, whether it be from the FDA or, 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 or these taxation issues, this is your industry and this is your passion. This is what your enjoyment you got to protect its existence. Correct. And whether it be PCA or CRA, the, this industry feeds, you know, my family, the people that work for us, their families. So it's important that we could, that not only that we grow, but that we can at least stay level because we have families to feed just like any other business. And the more that they hurt our business, then we can, you know, maybe have everyone on. It's, it's about people's lives. They think they're doing something uh, to help people and to push people away from tobacco and then use that money to help other people in other ways but what they don't see is that it hurts people on the other end um, you know we make cigars in, in Central America in Honduras and Nicaragua and we're mainly in Honduras where you know things aren't the best and we employ um, because of cigars a lot of people rollers and farmers and yeah. all these different people and if we're not able to give them more work then they don't they don't have to get to make as much money. The idea of employing farmers, the third world trade that's involved here, the elevation of people's lives, it really is a lot that, that needs to be addressed and unfortunately doesn't. But let's let's bring it back to the United States. Of course, the boom that we've seen in cigars, yeah. well over 1.3 billion up uh, because of COVID. People wondering how is that sustainable kind, yeah. kind of going forward. But let's get into who that 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 buyer is. Is it new people getting in? Or is it people who smoke a cigar yeah. or two a week smoking four or five a week? It's both. It's definitely both. Like People are working from home and the guy that likes a cigar once a week is now smoking one a day, one every other day, whatever it is. And then there's people that are like, I'm going to try something new. Like, could it be different? Hey, I'm, gonna, I'm online all day. Might as well look at cigars for some reason. And the next thing you know, they buy a five pack and right. then they bought a humidor and now they got to fill the humidor. And man, I love cigars. Let me get some for my friends. Awesome, man. So. It's, it's new cigar smokers, it's old cigar smokers, people just have more time on their hands. The new cigar smoker is a millennial, they're Gen Z, they're, they're, they're Xers, who are they? Uh, they're everyone, again, also everyone. Just because you're 50 years old and haven't smoked a cigar yet, maybe you try it out, maybe your friends like cigars. Uh, and they're like, hey, you should try this. And now, so it's everyone. There's not, it's not just young people like, oh, we have new cigar smokers. It's not just young people, it's exactly. older people as well, everyone. You know, we see everyone likes cigars, right? I'm I'm 25. My father's now 60. Um, we both love Did cigars. Did you hesitate in saying that? He Did you just, not want to out your he, father? He, 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 I didn't. Also, he just turned 60, so I had to like make sure like he's 60. Okay, the I got it. I got it right. In your case, and in the case of so many in the in the industry, it is family business, and it's multiple generation family yeah. business. How, what is the level of pressure? on you and your brother yeah. to take over the family <laughs> business. Was it ever a question? Did you ever say, I don't know? Or it was always like, this is the coolest damn thing in the world. How could I not <laughs> want to be a part of it? It was a mix of both kind of, because at first I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like I'm going to figure it out like while I'm in college. Uh, I'll take that time to explore and see if there is anything else on, you know, for me. Um, and then I kind of knew probably like my third year that I was like, cigars. It's a big name in cigars. I mean, the amount of faces, the amount of types of cigars you guys have is, is stunning. You, you told me you, you guys dropped four lines, but you added your, your own lines yeah. uh, with, with the Blind Faith and, and uh, the, a couple of the others. Uh, it is a small business. You've got to work your small business every day as, as you guys, as a new generation, see it. What, what are the things you would like to change about the industry? What is that next evolution or do, or do you have it yet you know our industry is is an older industry there's people that have been in it for a long time and 
um, you know, uh, nothing wrong with it, very old school and, you know, but as we see younger people getting into it, um, you see that they're coming, becoming more creative and more tech, uh, technologically savvy. So when COVID happened and no one is able to sell cigars because their shop is closed down, but guess what? You can do curbside, go on social media, tell them, hey, we're doing curbside. Like we have packs ready to go. You just call us, come by, boom, bam, it's done. All right. So being able, having an online presence so people that are in your area know what's going on with your business. It's important. That's, that's, that's just, and that's just the beginning of it. It's Bradley Rubin right here. I, I am intrigued by the blind faith. I have one to do on the show with Fingers Malloy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab another one. Don't tell him. And i, I got to try it immediately. Man, a pleasure. Yeah, absolute, absolute pleasure. pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you man. I appreciate it.